Okay, thanks. Um, I'm going to give a quick update on the uh, baseline work that we've started and has been delayed by COVID, but I'll give you an update on where we are with the activities. So overall, the objectives of this was to create baseline estimates for water sanitation and hygiene in predetermined cholera hotspots. Um, and then we would use that hopefully to measure progress over time as wash infrastructure is implemented in the hotspots. We hope to be able to link this to other activities such as the cholera costed plans, which will be discussed uh, later and integrate these with OCV coverage surveys. And the overall goal is to show progress for the wash sector on the cholera roadmap in these hotspots. So we had a, a few examples um, that we were going to implement the, um, the, uh, the survey using combined with an OCV campaign. So the first was in Bangladesh in the Rohingya population in Cox's Bazar, where we had two uh, predefined hotspots in Ukiya and Technaf, and we calculated the, the sample size for getting an estimate in each of those two separately. And we are also planning on collecting paired water sources from the source and from the household and the selected number of those households. And the idea was to have enough power in the survey to provide separate estimates in each of those two locations. We were unable to do that due to COVID-19 in, in 2020. The next version that will be an integrated uh, with OCV is planned for October. So next month uh, in Zanzibar, the OCV, both doses have been completed last month. Uh, so the plan is to do the post coverage survey and combine it with a wash assessment. Um, this is the, the layout is a little bit differently. There's 33 hotspots defined down to the Shahia level in nine districts. Some of those are ranked as high priority, medium priority, low priority. Sizes of those are, are smaller, 1,000 to 25,000 persons at the Shahia level. And then the district level is, is higher up to 132,000 persons. Um, so we plan to combine the Shahias and to collect wash baselines at the district level, not at the Shahia level. And I'll go through some of the, uh, what that means in terms of the, the size of the survey, uh, depending on, on how many of those we want to include in the estimate. So the, the plan was to have two different ways of doing that. One is integrated with the, the OCV campaign uh, and the second is to do a standalone wash survey. So we're going ahead with the first one, which is combined with the OCV campaign. Um, the, the idea is then to take the OCV coverage survey, add in a wash component to it, um, and then to uh, potentially uh, collect water samples, testing for both chlorine residual and E. coli from a, a, a number of samples, not all of the, of the households, and to have a an increased sample size beyond that for the OCV in order to make better wash estimates in particular hotspots. So the, the baseline questionnaire is taking the OCV standard questionnaire and then average uh, adding in wash uh, coverage questions from the JMP. And these include access to types of, of water sources, availability of water, uh, how it's stored in the home, any treatment at the household level, the questions on type of sanitation, hand washing station availability, soap availability, and then additional questions on knowledge, attitudes, and practices regarding cholera, and then some questions on health seeking behaviors. So this is just goes through um, the situation in Zanzibar. So this is what we're planning to do uh, next month and on the right-hand side, you see the list of the districts in Shahayas and some, they're ranked either high priority, medium priority, or low priority. On the left-hand side, we've, it shows the districts with the populations and our sample size estimates. So the, on the third column, sample size by district, that is what we estimate just for the OCV coverage survey. So if we do this, uh, a post OCV campaign survey, we would estimate about 1200 households uh, with them highly clustered in a few areas with high population 
uh, numbers. If we want to get specific estimates and higher, uh, higher precision on the estimates for those specific districts in blue, so these are the ones that are ranked either high or there uh, includes urban, which is a high population, um, and uh, they wanted an estimate for urban as well. So if we want specific estimates for there, we would then oversample and increase the sample size, which uh, more than doubles the, the, the total sample size. So based on the budget available, we would, uh, we would do either the smaller survey, which is the OCV only, and get a, a one estimate for wash coverage in, the, the, uh, in, in all of the areas in Zanzibar, or if we increase the sample size, we can get that plus additional estimates down to the district level in one, two, three, or four of those districts. So based on uh, the availability of funds, we'll include oversampling in those. So we'll have better estimates down to the district level. So hopefully we'll, we'll have this completed in October and we'll have some feedback on, on uh, and how well it went with this larger sample size. So some discussion questions that we've been muddling through and we'll hopefully get some answers to as we start doing this one and then some subsequent ones once this is completed is should there be one baseline for hotspot or can we combine hotspots and merge them for the baseline? So for example, in the Zanzibar one, we have high risk hotspots, two in, in one district. Should each of those be have their own baseline, which increases the sample, or should we combine those? So this is something we want to see as, as we do these, uh, how feasible it is to combine and, and how necessary it is to have separate ones. Um, and then uh, if, if we have multiple hotspots, how are we going to prioritize which ones to do baselines in? Is it gonna be based on the ranking, based on cholera prevalence and, uh, and persistence, um, or do we want it based on where it's more likely that interventions are gonna take place, et cetera. So the, those questions still uh, not completely uh, resolved. Um, and then this question that we've had uh, from the beginning is, should we redefine a cholera hotspot of only a portion of the district is reporting cases? So if it's, a, if it's an administrative boundary, but we know that it, most of the cases, or we suspect most of the cases are coming from an area within that hotspot, should we redefine it downward and only focus on particular wards or areas of the district um, or, or use the administrative boundary and, and do a, a, the survey for the whole district or administrative area. So that's where we are right now. Um, and be glad to answer any questions later or uh, share any materials that we have. Thank you.